No bidet, no problem. Charmin extra strong. Holy f- <laughs> Who needs a bidet when you have this? So that was quite the interesting. Oh my god. This is probably the biggest motor I have ever held in my life. It has a five millimeter shaft. It runs on 12 to 24 volts, producing 7.6 kilograms of maximum torque at 12 volts and 9.8 kilograms of torque at 24 volts DC. At 12 volts DC max load, this thing can draw 16 amps of current. This motor weighs half a kilogram, and it is probably the most powerful motor that I've held in my life. It comes pre-threaded with M4 and M5 holes. Now, when it comes to using a massive motor like this, you have a large variety of choices that basically makes this like Lego for adults or engineers. So to show you what I mean by that, here are a variety of attachments that can be connected to this motor here. In case it wasn't obvious, this coupling and shaft here did not come with the motor. I put them here myself and I can actually undo it like that. And this is how the motor came. Now, the reason a motor like this is extremely useful is because the output shaft here is five millimeters in diameter meaning that you can put attachments like this or you can put attachments like this or you can put attachments like this these are timed belts time belt pulleys ten millimeter belt width three to one ratio and you'll notice here that one side is actually for the five millimeter shaft. I need to undo the thing, but the one of them is for five millimeters and the output is for eight millimeter, which would be this right here. Another option are bevel gears to convert one direction of rotation to another. In fact, it is so powerful that it requires four and five millimeter screws for mounting. You can also go with a larger timing belt like this. And this is why I like to call them basically Legos for engineering. Because as you're going to see right here, you can assemble this into really any number of variations that you want. So I'm going to take this power supply out here. And let's make, so let me take these all apart and we're going to start from scratch. So of course here is the 895 motor. And we have three couplings here. One of these is 3.17 millimeter to five millimeter. And this coupling is for this BLDC motor here. This goes on there and it converts it to the same five millimeter shaft that this motor is. But since we're working with five millimeters natively now, uh, we don't really need this one. So the main ones that we're going to be working with are the five millimeter to five millimeter and five millimeter to eight millimeter, which I have not received yet, but I have ordered. I have also 
ordered a much larger version of this drill chuck because if you notice this is also for 3.17 millimeter not for five millimeter if you see it's not a fit and that's going to be a very very powerful drill because this thing needs a mount like a steel mount which i've also gotten for it And since this is a 6,000 RPM motor, which is your average rotational speed for a drill motor, it had the highest torque. That means that if you want to increase the speed for something like this propeller here, then you can use one of these a three to one timing belt. There's also flange connectors. This is an eight millimeter and this is in five millimeter. And the idea is you can basically have like a drivetrain system, potentially even a clutch system, which is what I was thinking. Like a basic lawnmower clutch system. So to start off with here, I'm going to attach one of these five centimeter long, five millimeter steel shafts onto this coupling. And then this coupling will be attached to the end of that motor. in by unscrewing these now we insert one of these now you need to be careful that it that doesn't that it doesn't go all the way through that much and the important part for getting it level is starting it like this then counting it so half a rotation on this side and then half a rotation on this side and then Keep repeating. So this side had one more rotation on it. So you can see it's a little bit uneven here. So I'm gonna take that out a little bit and make this one a little tighter. Now this is not the proper way to balance it because you're not really balancing it. So here's the completed assembly here. And just for demonstration, I'm going to connect a five millimeter one here, just to show. So I'm doing these, this is a new coupling, so the threads are a little tighter. like that and just like with the other one so now we have a little assembly here there we go and let's mount this onto here. So actually what I'm going to do is separate this coupling here and mount it to the motor first.
So now we're ready to mount the little assembly here. For testing this. So let's move that out of the way. And this is rated for 12 to 24 volts. Let's start with uh, just the 12 actually. And this to show you how much power this has. I'm gonna unplug this, plug it in, and watch how much it's gonna jump when I plug this in. And the more weight you have here, the more it's gonna do that. Ready? It's a lot of power. Oh my god, that's it's heating up. Oh. oh. These aren't the strongest, so. Alligator clips here. I'm afraid it's gonna short it out against the case. And be very careful not to touch where these are spinning because they will shred your skin. This thing is not a joke. This will break your wrist before it stops. There's a fan here. Oh my, I can feel the power in my hands. Oh my god. <laughs> Sounds like a lawnmower. Let's imagine this with a drill drill chuck on the end. Holy crap. Now you can see how much that thing is vibrating back there. You don't have to be at 12 volts. There's like no sort of, it's not like a brushless mode or anything. So one thing I wanted to demonstrate here is if we go back to like 12 volts here. And I pick up this piece of paper towel. You can see that you can just polish using this. Look at that. And I bet if you held this on here for long enough, it would start catching fire. And to show what I mean by the shredding that, that will do. Well, let's flip the rotation direction actually. Other way. See that? Whoa. Holy sh... Now look at that. Let's turn that up. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Holy sh... This is like a goddamn helicopter. Let me get my... I need to get my safety glasses. I need safety glasses. Never ever do something like this without safety glasses, but this is just paper towels, so. The sound, holy shit. Oh my God.
was shorting against the case there. Charmin extra strong. <laughs> Holy f <laughs> Who needs a bidet when you have this? That is so cool. <laughs> Let's see if I can start it up like this. No bidet, no problem. actually cleaning. Elephant toothbrush. Now what do you do if you have elephant toothpaste but you don't have an elephant toothbrush? That's what you do.
Welcome to American Airlines, and thank you for flying with us. We're now <laughs> I said that back. We are now ready for a departure. should open back up when I slow it down and then when we speed it up Try to give some G force to it. Let's unplug and so that was quite the interesting. Oh my god! So that was quite the interesting test so for controlling the speed there was two options because as you saw I was using the DC power supply but that's not always an option. So what if you have a 12 volt lead acid battery and you want it to control it? Well, this is a, well, this is a step down. This is a step up module, supposedly capable of 300 Watts. I did some tests on it. It seems to hold up pretty well. It just needs a fan. And this is a step down module with constant current and constant voltage. So how does a motor like that compare to a motor like this? Or even a motor like this? How much more power is this putting out than a BLVC motor like this is? Keep in mind, this is 3.17 millimeters. That is five millimeters. This motor weighs 50 grams. This motor weighs 500 grams. 